Hooray! <laughs> Hello everyone, this is Natnarf signing in and welcome to The Last Door, the second season. Um, I remembered I played the first season because I f and I found that game by accident. And recently, they just finished their second season set. And I remembered I had the thing. Too loud, the music. In my ears. I remembered I had the game right, just right after we moved, or right before we moved, house. <clears throat> And yet, when everything crashed, everything when we move and everything crashed, I thought I lost the game, I lost everything, and I forgot I actually bought the thing, so I didn't lose anything, so hooray! But I forgot to play it, and right now, and I apologize, there were some days that I forgot that I had not uploaded on, so... Um, I thought by playing this one, I hope I'll be forgiven. <laughs> I forgot that there are some days on my schedule that I did not play or upload video for. So, sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, this is the second season of The Last Door, which I have been really looking forward to because I didn't know that it was still not yet finished when I... Uh, the, the whole set was not yet finished. When I uh, f um, finished the first season, so so oh yeah, I will play the extras in the last because that's usually the backup story. So we'll start a new game. So I'm not sure if this is I'm not sure if this is still up to date version because I didn't click the update. Do I have to click? Okay. <coughs> Jeremiah David, yes, the guy who hung himself in the in the part, uh, altered by the suicide and mysterious, <coughs> alerted by the suicide and mysterious letter of his friend Anthony Bichwer, Bichwer, went in search for the memories of his past that he had lost. David discovered that in school he had taken part in a strange experiment with dumb voodoo that he's not supposed to touch. <laughs> its goal was to seek through the veil, the thin line between common reality and the world of horror and madness that lies beyond, under the watch of the eye of the bird. That's why there's lots of crows everywhere. During his search, he was inoculated by the, with the drug that he had used back then during high school, the serum made David's mind travel for a few hours into the dream like re like <coughs> for a few hours to the dream like realm of the veil. There he met he met his old classmate, Alexandre Dupre, who urged David to join his cause and cross with him the, to the world to the realm of the bird. I can't read why. When David woke up from his trance, he found himself deeply convinced by his friend's words. He traveled to Tukre's house where he discovered that his friend had dosed himself with a new drug, new serum, leaving a cataconic body behind. He was high and his body is right there. The new drug was capable of transporting the mind permanently to the veil and beyond. Finally, David found a veil of the serum and had injected it. God damn it. Hello? And had it injected. He met his friend again in the veil, and together they walked through the last door entering the world of forbidden to the human eyes. I don't know why am I still motioning my hands when you can't see me, so yeah. <laughs> the Witch Therapies. Don Doc Bad Don Doctor <laughs> Doctor John Wakefield. Worried by his patient's disappearance and strange visions, had sought the help of his colleague, Professor Johan, Johan Kofa. I don't know why, I keep, my, my mouth is not working with me. <laughs> An expert in the occult. <sighs> I should really stop watching. <laughs> Sorry, my mind is still locked in with T, uh, uh, Tim Fortress, Tim Fortress, with Team Fortress 2. 
and Overwatch Winston. I'm not a really big fan of Overwatch, as you can hear from my tone, but I am a big fan of Winston. Oh, that goddamn adorable gorilla. <laughs> oh wait, he'll kill me if I say adorable. So yeah, cool looking adorable. Cool looking a gorilla, don't say adorable. <laughs> oh, I wish he was mine. <laughs> Searching, <clears throat> searching Beechworth's house, Wakefield and Kaufman found a disturbing letter, return letter, in which Anthony had tried to warn Alexander Dupree of what would happen if the door was open. He feared something from the other side might then come to ours, which was where the first scene, uh, which is where we played in the first part of the game, when you go into the house. But then we had music. They are coming. That's the music! I have somehow seen this lady before. Do I move? I, I, okay, never mind. No, no. Oh! Uh, what? Did I barricade myself? Why is the music so loud? Wait. Music is too loud! I can't hear a damn thing! Why? Continue. None of us could prepare for this. Yep, you barricaded the windows. Am I gonna hang myself? The visions, the screaming, were merely a warning. I'm gonna hang myself, am I? And now it is too late. They are coming. I'm gonna hang myself, am I? Damn it, game! <laughs> I hate <laughs> always with this. Um. <laughs> I hate you, game. You do this to me every goddamn time. <laughs> Why? Just as I like get into the exciting part already. Boom! Chop you off with the intro. The last game had a longer intro before it cut me off today. <laughs> had a longer prelogue before the intro. Damn it! God damn it, crow. The last door. <clears throat> I'm pissed off. <laughs> last night I had the nightmare again, but this time it was different. This time he talked to me. What the heck? I smell like chicken. I took a bath already. Why? Hello, is that Ma? Oh, it was the same unknown street, void of any sound in life. I in I walked aimlessly, as if I were lost. I am lost. What do you mean, as if I was lost? Then I could hear it, the broken trumping. Trumping on the wet cobble My mouth. The broken trumping on the wet cobblestones. The familiar sound of approaching limping footsteps. Should I hide? Damn it! Move! Okay. Then, as before, he stood in front of me, gazing unrelentlessly, like he was expecting something. I don't have money! This time he spoke. Give me back what he took. Nothing else. What did he take? Give me back what he took. Your soul? Him? 
No, I have falling asleep again. Damn it! What time is it? Summer time! It's not a day now. What time is it? I wanna have. There it is. Dawn already. It is time. Make sure. Oh, good. Damn it. Move, mouse! Okay. It was several months since Kaufman and I found that mysterious letter in Anthony Pesho's house. A letter never sent with a cryptic warning of what it will happen if a certain door were open. It bore only the name of the address C. Andre Dupre. We felt sure Dupre was a key to finding them my patient and friend. Jeremiah DeVitt, who had disappeared in such strange circumstances, troubled by the death of his friend Anthony. David had visited the school of his childhood and had never been seen again. He went to Hogwarts. <laughs> Kaufman soon conveyed to me his deep concerns and warned that I should conduct any investigations with the utmost discretion. He pers he pursed his own he pursued his own research. God damn it, drink. Through his thoughts and methods remain as though his thoughts remain a secret. Damn it. In his last letter, he requested that I visit East Hill Lunatic Asylum in London. There were reasons to believe that Alexander Dupre had been institutionalized there for many years. I was asked to confirm this hypothesis and if it proved correct, to gather whatever other information would arise. London Bridge is what? Underwater, underwater, underwater. <laughs> East Hill. Season 2, Episode 1. The Playwright. So this. Bye, bye, bye! Oh, let can you stop? Ladies and gentlemen, don't miss the latest news in town. I'm already missing it. You're speaking too fast. Sea Monitor found in St. Ives! What? <laughs> noon and the noon of Dead Ambassador! What? Canada elects new Prime Minister! What? But we just finished the election! Bye bye bye! Oh, so startled. what the freak? Can you slow down? Okay, so this is East Hill Lunatic Asylum. I hope I can find information on, on, the, on Dupree here. Can I look at you? <laughs> Good morning, I would like to purchase a newspaper. Will you give me a newspaper? Here's it, six pence. Can you make change for a shilling? Sorry sir, but do you know where you can find me? The damn it, the coins! I've never been inside and hopefully I will next. What the heck? Uh, full of crazies, you know. I know, it's an asylum! Have you seen anything unusual around here? No, but maybe if you bought a newspaper. Damn it, boy! <laughs> oh, yeah, I just found a little new tidbit on Medic. Um, somewhere on the internet, it's by chance, and it's on a Korean blog website, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's a Korean blog website. Someone was doing, um, I think that post was a few years ago also, but not many people saw that post, so I'm gonna try and say it here anyway. Um, <clears throat> the person, there's this, per uh, this person tried to do, uh, um, Source. I tried to do an animation through Source Filmmaker, and in one of the um, what do you call that? In one of the layouts, template layouts. In uh, I think it's under categorize um under ca under the category of uh, medic, medic's office, <coughs> medic's office or medic's 
medical office, main office, I forgot. Uh, on the table, normally on the table you'd see a name bar, name plate, or something uh, of the person who owns the office, right? There is a name plate in gold sitting on medic's table, and it says, and it, it and the name was there. It said Doctor Claude Huggins. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's his, is is this his exact name, but if that's his name, oh my god, that would really solve some of our problems because <laughs> we don't know Scout's name. We don't know spies' names, so we don't know if they're related or family. Thank God, <laughs> don't want to know. <clears throat> we know Del. We'll know Del's name because of the comics. <clears throat> uh, we know Tavish. We know Sniper only to be Mundy, even though I had a weird uh, suspicion before. I, I because I didn't read the comics properly, and I thought maybe Mundy was. Monday was short. I thought Monday was short for Edmund, but no, it's this. Uh, it is foster parents' is surname, and even though we still don't know this actual parents' is real name, damn it, surnames. <laughs> still, I like the idea of having him being called Edmund Monday, although it, it sounds too cheesy. <laughs> <coughs> God damn it! Where's my slippers? <coughs> Heavy being Misha. Um, Pyro, not sure. I'm still thinking that that one's a tomboy or a lesbian. Soldier, um, Jane Doe because we really don't know his name. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, um, <clears throat> enough of it, me rambling about TF2. I know everybody's sick of it already. Because they're all playing Overwatch. Oh, I can go in. I'm addicted to Dan Bull's song now, god damn it. I'm a match. I'm a. I like so many people. I like songs that's done by other YouTube artists, creative artists. Um, some of Dan's Bulls. They're not all of Dan Bulls songs that I like, but some of them it's really nice. And the the one that he made for Overwatch, I love that. <laughs> I love that face. I love that pacing. I love the tune of that. It really went with the flow of um. Uh, of the of the melody or the tune or the soundtrack of the last part near the last part of Winston's animation oh my god I really love it oh not me I'm ruling about Team Fortress and <laughs> and Overwatch I bet some of you are tired of it already a few cardboard sheets die on the bench so it's a perfectly symmetrical design in black ink Okay, 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 Jesus Christ. Oh, never mind. <clears throat> Can I talk to you, folk? Good morning. Ah, oh, yes, a lovely morning. And sunlight of a quite fascinating character. I beg your pardon. The light. It makes everything look different. You see, light touches things, soaks into them, and changes their nature. Makes them shimmer or makes them die. Damn it, Lou! <laughs> do you live here? <coughs> I do indeed. My family is generous, is a generous benefactor to East Hill. Damn it! <laughs> they had me committed, but I don't blame them. They are just incapable of appreciating my art or any art. For that matter, they mistake it for insanity. I still think you're insane. What are you doing? I'm not just drawing, my friend. I am trying to feel the light to translate its power to the surface of the paper. Those animals don't like it though. They don't want me to succeed. So they take them away. They take my drawings and they study them and they laugh. Because my eyes can see the light and theirs are blind. But someday, someday everyone will understand. I think I'm gonna be the first. Who are they? 
the ones who take your art away. Ah, those foolish caretakers. They hide behind a big mirror where they think themselves safe. And they look at me, they observe me, they even take notes. <coughs> you have... <coughs> I need cha. God damn it. Back. Ah. Not getting any better. <laughs> You have some curious drawings right there, beside you. Oh, you mean these? These are the only art that make any sense here. The doctors use them to cajole some patients into revealing secret inner truths. I won't return them to the doctors until they've like, turned the art they've stolen from me. Okay. Where are your drawings now? I suspect they are somewhere in the archive, since I've been, I... <coughs> Since I've seen confiscated items taken before, you seem different from the rest. Can I trust you? I can. Uh, can I? Can you? Uh, I've been trying to sneak in for days now, but Miss Riswell keeps a tight guard on the door. I even stole a key from one of those guards. You're a doctor, surely you can gain entry. If you could recover my drawings, I would be so grateful. Here, take the key with you. Thanks. Do you know Zupé? Oh, I went in the wrong order. My name is Dr. Wakefield. I'm looking for a man who lived here some time ago. Would you happen to know Alexandre Topri? That name does not ring a bell. I have not been here that long. Though... <coughs> that long though. I really should learn how to read. What kind of writer am I? <coughs> you should ask the other patients. They may be able to help you. Some have been here for many years. Or you could ask one of the others. The broods who keep us here. I must go. Enjoy your stay in Hogwarts. <coughs> I keep forgetting that I need to mouse click the game. Most of the games you have to press left, right, or something on the keyboard, right? <coughs> Never mind. Are you a nun? Good morning, madame. My name is Dr. Wheatfield. I am a psychiatrist. Oh my, good morning. Forgive my manners. I get so excited when we have visitors. We don't get many these days, and certainly we are lacking experts like you. Are we bringing in mentalists? <coughs> Psychos? <coughs> what do you mean? God damn it, earphone. Hello? Okay. What do you mean you lack experts? Every year we get less funding from the crown. First the doctors started to leave, then there were the takers. But now very few remain. But we have responsibility to our poor patients, do we not? We must care for them. They cannot be out. Living with the uh, proper people. We must keep ourselves safe. And our patients too, of course. <coughs> I need all the chai I can get. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I'm looking for a man who used to be a patient here a few years ago. His name is Alexander Poupri. Do you perchance ever met him? Alexander Poupri. Ah yes, there was one with a foreign name. I remember something of him. A good man, if I recall correctly. An educated man. But there was something strange about him, weren't there? I said there. I believe it scared some of the other patients. You never know, with this lot. I'm sorry that I can't remember much. <coughs> there have been so many people here. It is hard to keep track. Have you worked here long? Yes, a long time. I can scarcely remember how many years. Time slowly go. Blah. Time goes slowly in here. And the isolation. The rules don't allow us to leave. I don't know what is happening in the world anymore. But we have our duty, do we not? Who else will care for our patients? May we request access to the Institute Archives? There should be some information about the man I am looking for. Mr. Dupri. I am sorry, Dr. but that our archives are private. We must not allow anyone to access them without proper authority. Many of our patients come from good families, you see, and we take care, care to great we take great care to respect their privacy. But do not look so crestfallen. Who not find such in, in 
would not find much in what? You would not find much in any case. It is a long time since they have been organized. God damn it! <clears throat> a bookshelf. These books are not volumes of psych psychiatric. Psychiatry or medical science, but old serial. What? Old serial novels for patients to read. Okay. What's with the music? Old picture of portraying the fan. Antron Saint of the psychiatrists, but also those who suffer neurological disorders and victims of incense. incest. She was killed by her own father who chopped off her head after she what the fuck <laughs> after she refused to marry him when her mother died ew <coughs> what kind of sick psycho are you you do the own daughter why is it so dark there must be this must be the recreational wing where patients relax and pass the time perhaps here I can find someone who met Alexander Dupree while he was in <laughs> the stone bus keeps the patient silent company. <coughs> and my throat keeps dying. <clears throat> Got the piano. <clears throat> Marble bust of Hygiena. Hygia! Hygia! Can't speak! Greek goddess of physical and mental health. In other words, I just lost it. <coughs> Sunny beach lot by waves of gentle sea. Okay. Cheer for pastoral scene. What? I need Mona Lisa on us. Hi. Hmm. Who are you? Wearing a worn military uniform. God, listen. No, 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 can't talk. <clears throat> Just me, sir. I could not help but notice your uniform. Were you in an army? Leave me alone. You don't want to talk to the coward such as myself. What? You ran away from the war? <clears throat> Jeez. Good morning, madam. My name is Wakefield. I'm looking for a former patient of this incident. The rumbling. Madam, if I may persist, have you been living here for long? The rumbling. What? Eyeless gaze. <clears throat> Burn them. What? How can I get her to talk to me? Oh. I'm the, 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 quite an impressive institution you can have here. Can I ask your assistance? I'm looking for a former patient of this institution. His name is Duque. I'm sorry, sir. I have never heard of that name before. <clears throat> Maybe one of your senior colleagues could tell me about this former patient. Well, you could ask Miss Riswell and in the entrance hall. She has been here for years. Maybe far too long. You know, we take a second peer with the patients and we are not allowed to leave the asylum services. This life can get, you, can get to you if you don't take care properly. I try to keep as much distance as I as possible from the lunatics. Ouch. <clears throat> the asylum is quite big, but I can't help noticing there aren't many patients around. Did they all die? <clears throat> well, apart from those in the ins in the <coughs> insulation, apart from those in the isolation ward, it is true that there are not many patients at present. But there are several, there are even few of us take care of us now. We are the only three for the whole hospital. Oh, gee, you guys need to get a higher pay then. <clears throat> from, from what I've been told, in the old times, the income was enough to provide for everything we needed a complete staff, proper accommodation for the patients, and the best doctors. But as the big, new, bigger region, bleh. Regional asylums were built, the crown's support was gradually withdrawn from East Hill. Soon everyone started leaving and this is what remains. <coughs> I'll leave it to your work then. May you rest in peace.
what is this? Oh, it's a mirror. Why would you need a room with a mirror? Thin piece of metal holding the window open. Can I take it? I'm sorry, 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 I'm Degenerated since the last session, his wrist is as if the morphine had no effect. For the last week, he's been obsessive, trouble for unknown reason. That is it, it's been doubled to no effect. Attack and bitten in the face! Four men were doing it to subdue the patient, Mr. Mo. Three markings were found on his body after examination. Getting better day by day, but physically and mentally. His habits have changed considering. He now shows an interest in his religion and spends his time wearing prayers. What? There's a man on the other side of the window, rest, heavily restrained. Shouldn't have under. I'm out! I'm out! What the fuck was that? Wait, piece of metal, coin. I need more money. Uh, I should not body in. Can I go here? Oh, sorry. What do I do with her? <clears throat> Wait, can I go any further than here? No. Okay. What do I do with her? Talk to you. Damn it. Say you don't know. Is this enough? Oh, that's expense. Okay. <clears throat> now talk to me, boy. Damn it! Stop the wrong clicking. You know there are always voices coming from the place at night, crying, singing, and inhabitant crying like damn souls. That's the usual. This night was different. It was all silent. I tell you, not a single noise in the whole street. I looked at the madhouse and looked at all the windows, black, no lights. <coughs> Everybody asleep in that place? No, that's strange. And then I heard it. It was like a scream like no water I've ever heard. Not a man or woman, but a devil from hell. That's very curious. Thanks. Now what am I gonna do with the freaking newspaper? Would you like to read the newspaper? <coughs> Damn it. Would you like to read a newspaper? <clears throat> oh, kindly. Oh, toffee wa. Let me get in there. This is the hospital archive where the record of each patient must be restored. Or stored. If Dupre was really committed at each heal, his file should be here. Oh god. Can I save?
Save... Mm, no. <clears throat> I can't. I don't have a save file. At last use it's covered in dusted papers and pins and noticeable layers of dust. Caretakers and doctors. <coughs> We're all locked. This company contains documents detailing the you know, patients ranging from two decades to last year. This file is right here. Dupre Andre 108A. Wait, I'm gonna write that down. I don't know why. 108A. All the files are missing! Torn, there's a piece of paper remains with address on it. Paul Street 26. And then I'm gonna get kicked out. <clears throat> At that, we were Alexander Lee before he was committed to the hospital. I should follow this new lead and see where it takes. Oh, that's a progress already. All the dates in the cabinets are prior to 1870. Looking for a more recent file. Okay. <clears throat> if it's unsafe by taking one of them is stack sheets of paper. Bearing drawings of trouble mind. Okay, that one. Get it. Can I get anything else? I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna give you your drawings, dude. But I also need to talk to that lady. Here you go. Great wonder, they're back. Someday they will understand light and shape as I understand them. Take a friend. If you want, the take these cardboard sheets. Thanks to you, I have no more need of them. Thanks. Fold it. Cardboard sheets. Each one of them drawing some magical pitch black ink in the middle. I've heard of this technique, but always thought it was an insect trick. Patients are supposed to see them in deeper cause of their ailment. Butterfly, or devil. It could be anyway. This one looks cool. This one looks like a beetle. What the hell? Light that floods the world with shades. Okay. Piece of metal. What am I gonna do with piece of metal? Poor guy in their window. <clears throat> Let's go to Paul Street. Uh, no. <laughs> nope. Twenty four. I'm looking for twenty six. Twenty six. This is the place I was looking for, but the broke door is bricked up. I must find another way to get in. <coughs> Submitted over that is almost mixed it with the fuck fuck hey facade. Ow. I hit myself with a Harry Potter one. The ruins of an old chapel. Apparently destroyed by fire. 
midst of wooden planks and the remains of benches and chairs. When I say the Harry Potter one, I mean um, it's a Malfoy wand. <laughs> um, I didn't no and no. I before you judge me, I did not go to Warner Warner Brothers Studios. I didn't go to Harry Potter World. It's um, <clears throat> if you look, if you know my sister Poké Digit. Uh, and seen one of at least some of her videos involving the Harry Potter wands. This was one of the ones that she's shown as part of the um, raffle draw, Ichiban Kuji, I think. And I and she gave me the um, Malfoy. Ouch! She gave me she gave me Malfoy's wand and uh, Dumbledore's wand. But I was really after Snape's wand. So yeah. <laughs> A mess of wooden planks and the remains of chair benches and chairs. Can I take some? Okay, never mind. I can't see in this dark, damn it. Is that a crow? Are you none? I can't hide my way through the dark. What the fuck? Don't you dare come in after me, lady! I'm already freaked out by this layout! What the frick is this? Another hole. It must be the interior of the bricked up building as well as the streets. Don't get the roof here for residents. I can't tell who's the picture in the portrait since it's so badly damaged it seems someone crushed it to the floor. There's something in among the ashes. Piece of paper. Do what? Piece of paper on the table. Silly. Is this Roman numbers? Missing an arm. Those uh, without treasures in chemistry and alchemy. Among the titles are Trimitius de la Paix de Philosophie, the what, the invention, the what? I'm not gonna understand any of these books. Me metal safe. Then open, damn it. Maybe <clears throat> Wait, I need to remember how to do my Roman numbers. Okay, apparently it's not Roman numbers. <laughs> okay. Some kind of message. Maybe it's numbers here. Um Six and five. Okay, I don't know. Oh, okay. 
missing from the... Hmm. To be missing from the right half. The message doesn't make any sense. Exactly. Do I need to go back to somebody? Do you know anything about this kid? Useless. Dude, do you know anything about this? Curious. Thank you. 